Hi everybody, it's Roseanne. Here I am in my studio doing whatever the fuck I want to do, which is a blast. And today what I wanted to do was introduce you all to my dear friend and my makeup artist of 20 years. She also does my hair and helps me pick out outfits too and a million other things. Uh, Shannon Huey. Yay, hello everyone. Now, you are an, you're a A plus makeup artist here in oh, Hollywood and you, you've done everybody. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I mean their makeup. Well their makeup too. But uh, aren't I the best skin and everything of anyone in Hollywood, really? You're the most fun oh. and colorful and beautiful. Oh thank you, honey. And stunning. Thank you. Now you're gonna take this mess <laughs> and make it look good for my meeting in about an hour and a half, right? Right. And why I chose Shannon. You want to talk about when you when I was doing the talk show and you came up and told me? What? The first time we met, you know. Oh, that um, I said, your hair and makeup look like crap. Oh, over here. <laughs> yeah. Your hair and makeup look like crap, and I could do a way better job. And I meant that. And I did. And I'm so still I doing took it. your card and I said, "Come tomorrow." Come tomorrow. <laughs> so you came and you did it like in 20 minutes. Because one thing I hate is sitting listening to a, a, a blabbering bitch touching all over my face and yanking on my hair, telling me about her fucking goddamn mm -hmm. life problems that mm -hmm. I don't give a shit about. I barely care about my own problems. Who wants to sit and take that shit on when you're trying to relax and get your makeup done? You want, usually we don't talk. We say a few things, you know, this or that, uh -huh. but we're just, you're you do some concentrated makeup stuff. Now let's talk about, because I think this is, everybody likes this. Women our age in makeup, right? It's different, it, you know, we're it, not it's Rihanna. the mature and, woman. 50s and up mm -hmm. and I mean I just did a client that was 88 she was running for school board now that's a lot of work but you know everyone what, did you have to use putty no what did you I do did you have to fill in <laughs> shit like with a I trowel <laughs> what did you do well, grout <laughs> <laughs> um no I use a lot of moisturizer and uh less is more ladies when you're getting a, you know, when you're mature and you're beautiful. I mean, look at Jane Fonda, 82. How she's had help. Yeah. But um, you know, women are looking better as they get older now, and it's possible with taking good care of your skin, plastic surgery, <laughs> living a good lifestyle. We can do this. Yeah, and Botox and stuff. And filler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, what's the first thing you're going to do on this mess? So. I put um, out all my stuff, and you know I yes. love to use the La Prairie oil. She Show loves that. the La Prairie. I wish they gave me some of this for free for me uh, promoting it. Costs 400 bucks this here. You look at this camera. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this here costs 400 bucks, so. You know, I want them to give me a break or something on there, but I do use it. That's all oil. And man, you can see your pores tighten and your lines. I've go seen down. it. I've seen it when you when you use this. Jake, do you want to do a close up of all my flaws and then I'll put that on? It's high def, so all your flaws are coming through. This oh, way. good. Okay. <laughs> They're all coming through. Hold on. Okay. Here come my here comes my uh, La Prairie oil. You don't use a lot either, right? A few drops. I, I always warm, warm it, it up. up in my hands mm -hmm. first. That's now right. watch this here. Slap, slap. You got to slap it on too because slap, <laughs> slapping it brings the blood to the that's surface, what, right? So Johnny helps with that. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, he don't get it near your eyelashes. Oh yeah. No oil near your lashes. I just go like this, and then on my neck, I always put some all down here. And you want to really massage. See how her skin is getting redder? It's bringing the blood up uh -huh. to her skin. That's really good. This is what you want, ladies. You want that blood. You want the circulation moving. Get a good massage in there. Yeah. Very good. Tell me when you think. I always do my lips, too. Yes, lips. 
and neck. And my mom did told me at the end she does each the top of her hands with the I do leftover. too. I do yeah. the hands too with that it. That was a good little tip. Yeah. Um, and the the best parts that you want to really focus on is your neck, decollete, and top of hands. The, okay. Those are like show the age. They they my go with hands. the face too, right? So they're cool. Um, so Here's in order of viscosity, stuff. yes. Yeah. Eye stuff. Okay, viscosity meaning the oil is first, the serum, then the creams. Okay. So you do it in order of thickness, thinness. She, see how she's tapping that on? That's very good. You taught me all this stuff. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, a tap, a tap, a tap, 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 tap. Very good. Okay. And you don't, you know, and if you notice she didn't do all the way, way under, you want to go on the bone. On that on that eye socket bone, so then where's your um, cream? Is it in here? Where's your face cream? Right here. Oh, this mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Okay. How does this that? one's good because you just go like that. Look, it comes out. Nice. I got that for free at one of those uh, ABC. What are <laughs> they called? Where you swag go get parties. swag party? Yeah. Swag. Swag. <laughs> Always do my ears too, because that's a lot of skin there. <laughs> um, and also, you never want to use moisturizer around your eyes for the face because it's too thick, and you can get little white, um, white hard things under your eye, which okay. I've seen a lot on women. So do not use moisturizer, regular moisturizer, only eye cream. Okay, so now she's all prepped. I like using um, Baby Skin by Maybelline as the primer, and that, what does it do? That um, just it it takes away the pores, like kind of gives a nice canvas, and seals the pores and makes a a really smooth base before we put on a little of the um, foundation. So just you know, under here. I do the clothes. I do the eyes too. Why for that shadow? Uh huh. Because I I've tried different um, eyeshadow bases, and I only like using foundation because it sticks. Uh huh. So okay, we have been using the Kevin Aquan, the Etherealist. We love that, and it's very sheer. And I use like a beauty blender, and I. Um, get a little Evian water and just moisten it. Yep, moisten that. So it gives a very sheer coverage because as we get in our later prime. years, in our prime, yeah. <laughs> you do not want heavy coverage. You just want, um, oh, I need my glasses. I'm like, why can't I see? <laughs> you want. <laughs> oh, that's oh, no, man. I'm kidding. Um, so I just, I kind of keep it all in the center and then I work out mm -hmm. because that way it's not heavy. And so, you know, you're just going to use your magic blender that's moistened and spread it a nice thin layer all around. Her nose is always, uh, typically everyone is red around the nose, so just kind of focus around there. And um, I take it back to the ear so you don't have any lines, no harsh lines. And, uh, yep, keep your eyes closed. And then, like I said, I use that as a base for her eyes, for her eyeshadow. And she got the lash extensions, which I strongly recommend as we get older because you wake up and you're like, you made look up. good. Yeah, you're made up, kind of. Yeah. Then you just and she has things. great brows, too. So, you know, you're really kind of halfway there. Yeah. When I, didn't, when I let the, the eyelashes lapse, look at my glass are steaming up. Um, my boyfriend's like, oh, they are steaming. Because I'm hot. <laughs> um, my boyfriend's like, 
oh, what happened? And I said, oh, yeah, I don't have those lashes on anymore. <laughs> and he's like, oh, God, you look tired. <laughs> you look tired. <laughs> I'm like, okay, they're going back on. But, no, it, it just, it really makes a difference, don't you think? Yeah, my mom got them, too, and she loves it. Yeah. Oh, my mother just loves those lashes. She looks so good. It she really, does look good. it's very youthful, you yeah. know, when you're, young and you have all this eyelash action going on once you hear like across the street they've got this treatment that they put hot stones on your fat and it melts it oh I, geez i better go over there right I know. now <laughs> i know i want you to go hot with stones me. what Something. they melt your fat i want i want jake to go too <laughs> it'll melt your uh love handles yeah yeah I want them to get it off, you know, my whole midsection. Yeah, that's where I'm at. That's what happens when I you know. get older. Yeah. Have you thought about maybe walking or running or anything? Maybe you mean exercise? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah I, I walked yesterday, actually. I'm back on my walk because i got to quit smoking. I'm doing that tonight at 6 o'clock is my last cigarette. And I'm just going to cold turkey it out for two days. Um, with uh, your boyfriend breathing down your neck, yeah, he's gonna. Man? Johnny's gonna be my cop. Oh, poor, guy. poor me. <laughs> you better just sequester yourself off into the. I am gonna sequester myself off all social media. Nothing stressful. But anyway, no. back to the makeup. Okay, we're back. Um, all right, so ladies, that brows. That looks good. Look, it doesn't even look like. No. I mean, it still looks. Like you, Moist and right? Um, Doesn't look all pancakey. No, <laughs> we do not want that. Jo I I call it the Joan Collins look. You do not want that white face, red lips, black eye. You know, no. You want to look like you, but better. I worked with Bobby Brown many years ago, and she said. No, you don't want people to say, oh, I love that red lipstick. I love that purple eyeshadow. They should just say, you look fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, now. And if they don't, you just slap them, right? And then you're not their friend anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> you only want people that are going to tell you how fabulous you are. That's right. That's so, a good step one. Yes. So, you know, you're lucky you have great brows. Now, a lot of ladies lose. You know why I have great brows is because Kevin O'Coin um, plucked them, and I always kept it up even. I do it in salute for his life. I keep my brows all plucked like he did. God bless him because he, he was, was an innovator, and he created, I just saw his uh, documentary, he created the natural look, which we still use today. He created yeah. that in the 90s. Yeah. So I like, I know you use a pencil, and it doesn't matter. I like using um, powder, especially if you're a beginner, uh -huh. because it's just more natural, and you just kind of graze the powder through. And most women don't have this last third section of their eyebrow. So you kind of have to cheat that. There's microblading now that they make the fake hair mm -hmm. tattoos, which I highly recommend. But you, you, you have great brows. So that's like hardly you have to hardly do anything. Did you have anything in them? What? Anything in your brows before you came here? No. They seem darker. They look yeah. good. I tint mine sometimes because mm -hmm. I have a lot of gray. Mm -hmm. That's a good little um, thing. So then I like to do a little base powder on the eye and just kind of like a fleshy tone mm -hmm. close. And I just put that all over the entire eye. Now, honey, if somebody wants to hire you and pay your exorbitant fee, <laughs> how do they reach you? Um, at... Three, two, three. No, oh. you don't give your name. I thought you had a Facebook page or something. No, I have Instagram. Instagram. What's your name there? Shannon, S-H-A-N-N-O-N dot Huey, H-U-G-H-E-Y. And I have another Instagram. Shannon Insta dot Huey. Yep. And you have another Instagram. Instagram, S 
Kiwi, same spelling, eight. That has a lot of stuff on it too. But the makeup and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh good. But Shannon dot Huey, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Um so yeah, I use the base color and then because it's day, because you're going to you want to look professional, mm -hmm. um uh. I just am going to do a light eyeshadow. Okay. And because you have a a, a very um wide eye keep your eye open just normal um you i just kind of go feel in that socket right there and i just use a little um a little kind of taupey brownish color tap off the excess and just kind of go in in there and you can actually you're like kind of tracing the eyeball socket mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh i never knew that and you can do like a windshield wiper effect. That's what they they kind of liken it to back and forth. And see that? Oh yeah. Makes your eye look deeper in. Uh-huh. Huh? Yep. And because you're you seem sort of tan right now, it kind of it's not jarring like, oh, there's purple eyeshadow. There was like a hair right there. It's not like purple eyeshadow. Oh. It's just kind of all blending. Mm -hmm. Cuz you don't want anything too crazy. You're not this isn't like the Golden Globes or anything where, you know, you're doing like heavy duty stuff. Uh -huh. This is just daytime, going to a meeting, looking put together professional. So that's like the windshield wiper. Then what? And then. You, if you want to deepen the corner a little bit, just uh -huh. for a little emphasis, just take a little bit more and just, you can keep your eye open and you can just see right in there, it's kind of like if you envision a V right there. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, constantly blending, checking, making sure there's no harsh lines. Um, I don't use a lot of powder. Mm -hmm. As we get older, it kind of settles in the creases. But I will typically take a little bit um, of like a universal translucent and just kind of go in the T-zone a little bit, just a tad. Mm-hmm. Um, what does that do? Just takes that shine down just a little uh -huh. bit. But I like a dewier look. Mm -hmm. And then I like this, the Charlotte Tilbury. It has the pop in the middle. It's kind of like um, a peachy, peachy color, corally. And I always have you smile like you are, yeah. And just do the apple of the cheek and just blend out apples and then i i don't dip in again i just do it all over the entire face and uh, and then what i like to do for a nice jawline which a lot of ladies like myself have the sagging jawline <laughs> um i'll take a contour and just do, and because everyone always misses their neck down here, and so it's always white. And you want to do a nice jawline and bring that back to the ears. So if you like, if you are wearing your hair back, it doesn't stop. You know, like ooh, mm -hmm. she's got makeup on to there. You want to just yeah. blend that all back. So then. Because, again, that it's day. You do a, a lot of black women's makeup, too, right? Mm-hmm. Every Should anything be different that you're saying here? For, um, I know? like to keep it warm and coral, and um, lips can always go a little bit brighter. Because it depends on the, the darkness of the skin. But um, coral looks good on everyone. Coral looks good on blondes, brunettes. Dark skin, light skin. That's a really I good like warm color. Even clothing wise, it looks mm -hmm. really good. So close your eyes. This is like um, a brown black. 
What? What is line, it? This is a pencil by Pat McGrath. She has a new line of makeup out, and I just love it. It's a gel pencil. Oh. And, um, oh, that's nice. That's a good line. Yeah. Let me see it. Is that it? Uh-huh. Pat McGrath. She is an African-American makeup artist that's been around forever, and hmm. she just came out with her own line. And that's nice. She, and if you want it with more longevity, I do a little, I dipped it in a little bit of brown powder to set it, if you will, and, and just use a skinny brush mm -hmm. and went over it. See, that just gives you a so little. So you did a pencil and then mm -hmm. you put powder. And then I did a little bit of powder. Uh-huh. So pencil and powder. Cool. Just a thin line. Yeah, and that's, then. That's a great line. Because of, as we get older also, the, um, oh, yeah, here. I like to do that anyway. Yeah. I do it like that. Uh-huh. Just, I like to kick that little, oh. kick that up a little, see? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, a little bit of a kid eye. We, we do what's called the waterline. And you can either do, look down, the top waterline, which is that wet part under your lashes, because that now, as we get older, is reddish. So... Oh, yeah. That's, see the difference? Uh -huh. I do. Can you guys see the difference? She did a waterline. Under, it's that area that's wet underneath the lashes. And then, if you want, we can do this inner bottom waterline, too. See yeah, that how that good. eye just pops now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Um, and I'm just going over and kind of blending because this is a day look, so we're not going super crazy. So again, um, just the liner. Yep. And back again with the eyeshadow. Tap, always tapping that excess or you'll get that drop, you know, where it drops and then you'll make a mess. So then, just going over that, kicking that corner, kicking that corner up, and... Yeah, I can see that's really nice work. Then look down. Doing that bottom waterline, right under the lashes, you just pop your lid so you can get to that waterline, and then, oops, um, and then underneath, <laughs> and now the thing that I know you never do, but I love, is concealer. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't get it. What I you have to do it. What I love is, you know, and I'm just. I would normally use it. You know, you would use it in the applicator, but I mm -hmm. like to use this brush. So load up your brush, and here's everyone's always dark right here in the corner, and you just kind of fan it out and everyone's red underneath the lashes so this is kind of where it goes and I like to do your cheekbone kind of like a highlighter mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it gives kind of a nice little highlight because everyone's using highlighters now but as you get more mature again you don't want that frosty look there because it just creates crinklies right there. Uh -huh. So, and as you can see, I'm just patting with my ring finger like you were doing. And that just gives it a much more yeah, that wide was, awake uh -huh. look. This is NARS. I love the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Uh, so again, we're gonna just do that other eye. And we're lips. And it doesn't take long to look this fabulous.
<laughs> so again, under here, this corner here, everyone's dark right there. And then around and fan it out onto the cheekbone. Mm -hmm. And that kind of creates a little highlighted effect. So lastly, uh -huh. we're going to do those beautiful lips of yours that work in so many mysterious ways. <laughs> they say so many things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just lightly go like, yeah. So I like to extend just a little bit over with a natural color that's about the color of her lips. And this is a makeup forever. And, and I just kind of go all and, and trace the entire lip so it stays. Now I go like this. Yep. And I just go a little bit below. Right here. She has a little scar right there, but we just like to fill that all in. Because she fell when she was, what, four? Two? Uh -huh. <laughs> Four. So I six, I think. Six on the ice. Swin ice. Ice. And ice. my teeth went through my lip, so I got a scar there. And I, I'm on and my big. chin, and I got a big scar on oh, my yeah, chin. Oh, yeah, that's right. From that. Right there. I'll, I'll that, bite in the pavement. You my mom it. said, the, the lady at the store across the street gave you too much change. So we're good people, and when that happens, we take the change back and tell them they made a mistake. I'm like, I don't want to go because it was snowy. Uh -huh. She goes, no, the, you've got to take your change back. So I went out and fell, fell, bit my lip, covered in blood, and I was like, God, even God doesn't like ass kissers. <laughs> That's what I thought. You were like, damn, you mother. I was like, see, this is what trying to do something good gets for you. Right. I learned my lesson well. Yes, Age you six. did. That looks good. And so this is a, a Bobbi Brown lipstick that has a little bit of a gloss to it. And it's nude, which we like to do. I know you like color, too, and we'll do that on television. But in real life, just a, a, a nice earthy tone. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just go real taut yep and I just kind of go underneath there to make it a nice clean line and smush that together and then oops I'm sorry honey um for a where's my oh, um just for a, a pop of make if you want to make your lip look really voluptuous mm -hmm. just take a light color right in the center and pop that center right there. Mm -hmm. And that's, wow, look at that. that's it. Now, onto the hair. Oh yeah, my hair's a mess. I, I was gonna show you. So typically, she will wear her hair up in a ponytail and do this whole deal and just get it going crazy. And uh, which works and it looks good. Except in the back, we have to do a little something. But um, so what I like to do, I <clears throat> as we get a little older, <laughs> old bags, <laughs> our hair thins, and so I love this Karanique Volume Boost Invisible Dry Shampoo. It adds volume, and if you don't like to wash your hair every day, which I know you don't. <laughs> Which is good, because the oils and everything. <clears throat> and ladies, don't be afraid to have longer hair. It's sexy. You don't need to wear that little, you know, um, Pixie. what was her name on the Brady Bunch? The mom. Yeah, you don't, Henderson. You don't need to have that short haircut. Women have longer hair now. It's much more youthful. And lighter hair is more youthful than darker hair. As It's... It's uh, much easier on the, the wrinkles and on every, it just, it, it's so much nicer to have lighter hair. 
So I just kind of spray into the roots with this. It freshens it up. It gives it more volume. And as you can see, I'm just going to do a little, a little bit, hardly anything. Am I okay over here? Okay. Um, I'm just going to kind of twist it. I like the dry bar uh, irons and all of their products. I love dry bar. It's a great line. They're all ceramic. They don't hurt your hair. Oh, cool. Yep. And I just kind of put it in really quickly. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Um, and, you know, just roll it around. And <laughs> every... <laughs> now you guys are so naughty. Um... And everyone's always flat back here on the crown. Mm -hmm. So um, I just like to do a couple pops of, of a curl back here to just give her some height. One up here um, because she's going to this meeting and we want her to look put together but not like you tried. It's, it's effortless chic. That's what you want. Yeah. You want to look put together, but not like you've spent an hour trying. Like you just rolled. You woke up like this. Yeah. That's the look now. And uh, so no more tons of makeup. That's for the young girls. They can do all that. Yeah, they can do that. We want to look put together effortlessly natural. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so... What I do is, you know, I'll do beach waves. I'll do all sorts of stuff with your hair. But, like, we're just doing a quick spin. And then she brush, she, she flips her fingers through it and just tossles it. Mm -hmm. God, your hair is getting so long. I know. I'm going to get it trimmed soon. But not much, right? No, I won't get it much. Oh, I love it. And as you can see... We, we as you know, we have the gray roots. See how highlights, you can't even hardly see her hair growing out. That's why blonde is so much easier than yeah. having dyeing your hair dark, yeah. which is aging. Yeah, and then um, you can see the gray roots in a week. Oh, yeah, totally. Right? Totally. I've done it. I know you have. Yeah, and, uh, this is good because the gray mixes in with the blonde. <laughs> and no, and and you know what they say, gray has more fun. <laughs> what do they say? <laughs> gray has its day. Uh oh. Oh, it's the boy. Uh oh, you better take that. Hi, Bob. I'm filming. How you doing? I'm good. I'm filming though. What are you doing? I see you're smoking a cigarette. Huh? You're smoking cigarettes. I quit tonight at 6 o'clock. Fuck that. You already did. I know. I'm a failure. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be quitting. Shannon's Shannon, a bad influence. I am not. I don't like smoking. Sure you don't. Where did you see me smoking? In the news? I don't worry about it. You posted Jake. it? Yeah, I always post Why would you post me smoking when you know I've lied to Buck? I didn't know you lied. <laughs> uh, Why are you lying in the first place? You, all you do is lie. You don't even try. You didn't even try to quit, I bet. I quit for three She's days. She's tried. That's not enough, man. Fuck off. Fuck you. I'm out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that one of your kids carries that hell. <laughs> <laughs> A mother and her sons. So, voila, like, I like mush this over there. yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, that's the other thing. What? We start on one side and then we flip it to the other to yeah. give more volume. Yeah. Should I flip it? No, I like that side. Oh, yeah. Well, that okay. was good because that was about what a total of twenty-two minutes. Yeah. 
It's great. And, and that's with me, you know, stopping and, and uh -huh. showing what to do. You could probably do it in 15. Yeah. And that's the name of the game, getting out, getting in, and getting out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you did great, Shannon. Thank you. Thank you.